Hi, this is John from Future Proofs, and in this video we're going to look at a few more of the markup options that are available, and how to edit your markup on a proof. As we saw in the last video, you create markup in Future Proofs by drawing on the page, and then choosing from a menu of possible markups. So, let's start this time by taking a look at some more of the markup types you can create. If you need to delete several lines of text at once, you can do that by drawing through the first part, choosing Delete and Lines, and then drawing through the last part. You can join two paragraphs together by clicking at the end of one paragraph and choosing Run On from the menu, then clicking at the start of the next paragraph. As well as entering text by typing it, clicking on the page and choosing the Insert menu gives you the option to enter several characters directly for speed, like spaces and full stops. There's even a highlighting tool, great for index entries or cross-references. If you need to move something on the page to another location, draw around it and choose the Move option, and click where you want the object to go. Then type an explanation for your designer, or leave it blank to use the default text Move. Once you've created some markup on your proof, you can select it by clicking on it, either on the proof page or in the margin. You can drag the markup using the drag button underneath, or just dragging on the markup itself. You can delete markup by clicking the trash button. Don't worry, there's a warning just in case you hit the button by accident. If your markup has text, you can easily edit it to change the text or its formatting. And many types of markup let you edit the mark on the page too. That's it for this dive into markup in Future Proofs. Check out our other videos to learn more about what Future Proofs can do.